My uh, grandfather, engineer, Captain Cyril Talbot Clover, was uh, an engineer, a naval engineer, and in the 1930s he was very concerned about the issue of various submarines that had sunk, in some cases quite close to the surface, and there'd be no way to rescue the people in the submarines. So he invented this device here. He presented it to the Admiralty. And here's how it works. This is the plating of the submarine, the external plating. Here is the ballast tank, here's the pressure hull. And a buoy is fitted into this space here, clamped down. And in the event of an accident, the buoy floats free. There's a wheel here to release it. And on doing so, it carries this messenger line to the surface. And the key part of the thing is this grapnel, which is designed so that it can bite into the inside of this container here from any angle. And I'll show you how it works. So on un unscrewing the buoy, the buoy floats free the surface, leaving this messenger line to which is fitted this grapnel which he designed. The rope is threaded through and in fact a hawser, this is of hawser strength, and what happens is this then slides down the messenger into the area and simply clamps on to the bar. This is now is of course fitted with a lifting hawser and the lifting hawser can then be used to draw the submarine to the surface. The design of the grapnel is, is very simple as you can see it's hinged, it's shaped like this with a, a cut off so that it will turn at any point in touching the support bar inside and there's a small messenger hole to allow the, the rope to pass through normally. And I've tried this out, and it doesn't really matter what angle you approach. It always clamps on, whatever you do, it can't fail.